And by this we know that he abides in us by the Spirit which he has given us. This is the word of the Lord. So last week we were talking about the, the beautiful goal of being and becoming children of God. But the question arises, well, primarily it arises because I'm, ra- I'm raising it. What do children of God do? Mostly what we're supposed to do is to love. To love without prejudice or evaluation of others. To love actively in a way that lets the spirit in and transforms lives. To love, to love as a reflection of God's love towards creation. That's what Jesus was about. Jesus was a reflection of God's love towards creation. It made it real. It made it vibrant. God is no longer completely distant from us. Now God is in our midst. And God always was. It's just Jesus kind of gave us the human example to see and follow. Now, the passage that I just read from the first letter of John and the whole gospel book of the first letter of John has wonderful reflections about God's love. It's way back, clear near the end of the Bible. It would take you about 15 minutes to read it. I highly recommend that you do so. The ring, the the wedding that I ring that I had from my favorite ex-wife. Actually, I've only have one ex-wife, so she has to be my favorite. Had an inscription in it from 1 John 4. We love because he first loved us. And it was in there because it was one of my favorite scripture verses. We love because he first loved us. And that's true. Love that is truly love is not something that we generate. Love that's truly love flows through us from the power of God. We are instruments of that love. We are the river that that love flows in and through. Love comes from God, and we cannot creatively love unless we recognize that we are loved. We're loved with power and passion and goodness and grace, and that love transforms us. So in our passage for this morning, there's also this also lovely verse about love, little children. Isn't it great that people in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and 90s can still be little children? (coughs) Little children. Let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Let us love not in word or speech, but indeed, in, in truth. That brings forth a whole host of images to me. One of those is a phrase from a while back. It's easy to talk the talk, but not so easy to walk the walk. Now, when it comes to the behavior of churches, and particularly disciples' churches, of course, Disciple churches are the churches I've been involved in in all my life, so that's my only real strong reference point. I mean, I dabbled some with Roman Catholic movements and spent some time in Methodist churches, but basically, disciples are what I know. I found, in many ways, with that phrase, you're not only supposed to walk the walk, talk the talk, You're not only supposed to talk the talk, you're to walk the walk. I find that in a lot of disciples' churches, the opposite is true. We do a really good job 
of walking the walk. The problem comes in with talking the talk. There are a lot of things we do in mission that show us that we are doing the walk of caring for others in the spirit of Christ. But when it comes to talking about Christ, witnessing about Christ, inviting others into the body of Christ, not so much. And yes, I'm talking about evangelism, that fearful word. How talkative are we to others about the beauty of life and the specialness of life in Christ in this congregation, First Christian Church? From my point of view, we need to both talk, from, actually from my point of view, we need to walk the talk and talk the walk. Am I getting you too confused yet? I'll work on it. Talking the walk. Talking the walk is sharing with others who we are as a church and what our church does. This week, last week, in the Sunshine Group, we had a couple of representatives there from the Unaccompanied Students Initiative. Who knows what that is? Sunshine, you get a pass. Okay, good. Very good. The Unaccompanied Students Initiative is an effort we have in Cheyenne to help students who are 16 to 20 who have been kicked out of or have had to leave their parental homes and are on their own. They have a house where students can stay and they help other students who are out with both food and support who aren't in that house. They have a liaison, a full-time liaison in the school system that helps with this. Now some people from the Sunshine Group and others that were there on this, after the session on Tuesday, remarked that they didn't know that that program was out there. Then what they also didn't know is that we've been supporting that program for at least, what, three, four years, Alice? At least three? Yeah. We've been supporting the Unaccompanied Students Initiative for three years. How many of you knew that? Okay. We're going to work towards a majority on that one. Alice Evans and I agree, this week talked about increasing that support, and we're going to engage in efforts in our outreach to do that, and it even started this week because this week was my week to go out and get cast cards for Comia and Safe House, and so I picked up a few extra ones for Unaccompanied Students Initiative because one of their greatest needs for the kids, for the youth, the students is gas cards or food cards. So we got them some. And we do all sorts of things like that in mission. You knew and know, I hope, that we started Needs Incorporated. Did you know that Habitat for Humanity in Cheyenne began in this building? You know that we cook a meal for Comia. And did you know that we all support them, with, support them with annual gifts? In fact, there aren't too many agencies that do ministry in this community that we don't support. Not to mention places like Native American Seniors Home up in northern Wyoming, or World Vision, or Wycliffe Associates that does, that does Bible translating for indigenous peoples. Talking the walk means getting informed about the church and proclaiming it and telling others about what we do. We've got a great sense of mission here, folks. How often do we proclaim it? Read the outreach part of the board minutes that are out there if you want more information. Read the board minutes itself, come to think of it. We share a lot of Christ's love in this community and in this world. We need to be talking more about it because it's a great story. Walking the talk. Walking the talk. Walking the talk is about actively witnessing. We need to walk our way out to other people and tell them about God's love. <coughs> Several years ago, when I was on sabbatical, I had stopped at a truck stop gas station thingy. I love the word thingy. It's a very diverse word. Stopped at a gas station truck stop thingy and, you know, get gas, do necessary business. Uh, and as I'm going back to get into my car, 
I see this big, burly young man in a black T-shirt with Gothic lettering on it. And the lettering on it in big Gothic lettering is, Don't go to church. Well, I figured there had to be a punchline on the back side of the T-shirt, so I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I think I almost finished my sabbatical waiting so long for this guy <laughs> to turn around. And finally he did, and on the back of the church, was, the back of the T-shirt was the phrase, be the church. Don't go to church. Be the church. That's walking the talk, my brothers and sisters. Being the church is being a people who practice with enthusiasm the holy purpose and life within the spirit of our living God. Walking the talk is in part telling people to give out God's love here, letting the world know that we walk with Jesus. Another part of walking the talk is, is how we treat each other. I hear, I hear a lot of stories about church people from time to time. You may make it into future service. <laughs> Most of the stories about some people that criticize the Christian agendas of others or on people different from them. I've heard that there's any gay pro statements that have been proclaimed. And that's why gay people are people. Black people.
brothers and sisters. Can I read? Yes? Okay. So, um, this week, our nation lost a very gracious lady. Barbara Bush went to live with our Heavenly 